Hey, so what's up guys, back here with Drag Tag, and if you watch my previous videos, you will probably know that this setup is not the usual setup which I use. Uh, reason being that this weekend, I'm actually doing an event for BMW and Element Case, more towards Element Case, where I'll be going there and shooting video for them, as well as uh, getting some products from them to review, which are the iPhone cases, so do stay tuned for that in the video probably next week or a couple of weeks ahead. Okay, so today, back to what we're here for, right here I have the P20 Pro. I know it's probably kind of late, um, I'm actually about a week late because I had some issues with the purchase. But anyway, it just came in the mail this morning or a couple of minutes ago so without further ado, let's crack right into this box and see what the contents are. So before I begin this unboxing, it'll be just a disclaimer that this video would actually just be a quick unboxing of the P20 Pro. I'll be doing a camera test in the future, so do stay tuned for that video. Okay, so without further ado, let's take a look around the box. So on the front, you can see Huawei branding on the top, Huawei P20 Pro and uh, Leica triple camera. This partnership has been going on for a couple of years now, and uh, the results from these cameras are actually very impressive, I should say the dynamic range and overall image quality is actually excellent. So I'm looking forward to test out this triple camera right here. Okay, so on the side P20 Pro, top of Huawei and uh, back you can see there's a Huawei VIP card which I will be taking out right now. This is actually 128 gigs and 6 gigs of RAM. So, so 128 GB comes as a standard for both the P20 and the P20 Pro. So let me grab my unboxing scissors and just cut open this package. So bear in mind, I've actually not seen the contents of this box yet. I do roughly know what it's going to come with, but nothing other than that. So let me throw the wrapper to the side and let's slide out the top of the box. So on the front, we're actually greeted with the P20 itself. Or should I say the P20 Pro? So let me take this out of this nice tray right there and put it to the side okay so these are some serial number stickers nothing important okay so let's take a look at the what comes in the box so let's take out this tray right here and then we're greeted with a sim ejector tool and also the local variant or should I say the Malaysian variant comes with actually a case besides that Huawei warranty card right here and also a quick start guide in multiple languages as you can see right here we put that to the side and also a TPU case. It's good that they include something like this to start off, especially for people who just buy the phone and they can straight away snap on this case and also with the pre-installed screen protector, they can straight away use their phone. So I think it's a very neat touch that they included. Samsung is also following this trend, so something I like to see. So moving on to the inside of the box, we also have the Huawei quick charge adapter right here, three pin plug from Malaysia and also uh, USB to 3.5mm audio cable because the P20 Pro does not have a headphone jack so you have to use this dongle life right here but I'm used to it since I use Bluetooth headphones most of the time so not a big deal okay moving on we have a USB type C to USB type A cable I won't be using this because I already have one with my mid 10 so not necessary, I'll keep that as a spare. And last but not least, Apple Earpod style headphones. I won't be using this. I don't think the sound is that great, but uh, good that you include one of these. So taking a tour around the phone, on the right side, we actually have a volume rocker as well as the power button. On the left hand side, we have the dual SIM slot. This doesn't have micro SD card support, so it's not really a bummer because they have 128 GBs of inbuilt storage, so I think that's sufficient enough for even a couple of years of usage. So taking a look at the front, we have a whopping 24 megapixel selfie camera right there as well as the earpiece. And on the bottom, we have a lightning fast fingerprint scanner. Trust me when I say it's lightning fast because it's the same one as on the Mate 10 as well as the Mate 10 Pro, so they are lightning fast. And this phone also has facial recognition, so there's something cool about it. So I'm going to check that out. So on the bottom, we have USB Type-C as well as our single speaker and the microphone. On the top, 
we have an IO Blaster, used mainly for trolling, I guess, at least for me. And um, the secondary noise cancelling microphone. So on the back now, we also have the star of the show, which is the triple camera setup. 8 megapixel tele photo camera, 40 megapixel RGB camera sensor, as well as a monochrome sensor right here. So crazy specs. But let's see how it performs in the follow-up video and even on my social media you can check me out there at drytech underscore official i'll be posting pictures i've taken from the p20 pro right there so you can see leica branding then this flash module right here with a color temperature sensor and in between these two cameras right here there's actually a laser autofocus which is capable of three meters i guess if i'm not mistaken it's three meters of reach and also Huawei logo so you can see it's already smudged up right there I'll be using this phone and I give you guys my thoughts about it in the next video so do stay tuned for that so that's all for this video guys this has been a quick unboxing I'm actually rushing out if you did like this video smash that thumbs up button and also subscribe to this channel if you haven't already I'll be posting contents on a weekly basis so that's all guys thanks for watching take care and I'll see you guys in the next video